Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're making the best Mighty Morphin Power Ranger Morpher that we have made yet. It's got moving parts, it's got springs, it's got a handle, it's got a button. So stick around and see how we do it. I drew up some new plans for this one because it's going to be smaller than the ones we've made before and it also is going to have to conceal the moving parts inside. The next step, as usual, is to cut out all of our basic pieces. So we have to draw out our design, we're going to drill the hole in the center, we're going to punch out the letters that say Power Rangers. We're going to put in the piece of Velcro so our coins can go in and out. And after that, we'll start designing the moving parts. Since this morpher is going to contain the moving parts within it, we have to create a cavity uh, within this project that all those moving parts can be concealed in. Uh, so we're going to use thinner wood for some of our pieces here so that way it doesn't become super thick. So I'm using this wood that's about an eighth of an inch thick to a quarter of an inch thick. It's really thin. And one of those pieces is going to be used as the backing where the top and bottom slide up and down on, and then the reverse side of that will contain all the moving parts for the mechanism, which will then build uh, a little wall around and then cap it off. So that way all of our moving parts are concealed within this hollow in the wood and the morpher doesn't become too thick because we're using uh, thin pieces whenever possible. The next thing we're gonna do is start creating our moving parts and our movement mechanism. To do this, we're going to put slots into this piece of wood here, and there are going to be dowels that slide up and down those slots. One, The other end of those dowels is going to be connected to our pieces that say Power Rangers, so those can move up and down. The other end of those dowels is going to be the movement mechanism, where we're going to have some vertical springs that pop open the top and bottom, and then when you squeeze it together, it compresses those springs, you let it go, it pops it back out. So that's going to create the movement of the top and bottom piece. Now that those vertical springs are in place, the next step is to start building the lock and release mechanism and then the switch. So this is going to be a dowel that rests across those vertical springs and it's supported by these other smaller pieces with some holes drilled in that you see here. catch part of this mechanism is going to be a piece of wood that is in the middle of that dowel in the middle of the mechanism here and it's going to have little triangles glued to the top and bottom and then on the vertical pieces that slide up and down we're going to have little dowels in there so when the morpher is closed those dowels are caught within the flat part of those triangles and then when that middle piece is released, those little dowels are released and then the top and bottom can spring open. In order to be able to reset the morpher once it's been popped, we need this catch release section where the button is to also have a spring. That way the piece that's used to catch and release is always pushed over the spot where those dowels are. That way we can have it automatically lock into place. So we're putting in a spring here that will always push that center piece 
uh, into the position that it needs to be. Once we have the button and it is pushed, it will compress that string, moving our catch, allowing the top and bottom to spring open. To reset it, we just press down on the top and bottom, and then those dowels slide down across the slanted part of the triangle, which pushes that catch to the side, allowing the dowels to then get underneath those triangles, and once they're underneath, the spring pushes them back over, resetting our mechanism. We are now all done making our new morpher. This one is smaller than the other, so it fits better in your hand. We have the black handle here at the top. The springs and everything that moves that whole mechanism is housed within the project itself. And then we have the button here to activate the morpher. Pushing the button pops open the top and bottom, and then you can squeeze the top and bottom closed, and it'll click back into place to use it over and over and over again. So if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. There's only one thing left to do. It's Morphin' time!